A Republican candidate for governor facing federal charges for his alleged role in the January 6th riots. FBI agents raided Ryan Kelly's home in Allendale and took him into custody on misdemeanor charges. Federal investigators say Kelly was recorded on video outside the Capitol on the day of the riots. Kelly is one of five candidates on the August 2nd Republican primary ballot. His arrest makes for the 15th Michigander arrested for their involvement in the January 6th attack. He was released this afternoon on a personal bond. The timing of Kelly's arrest raising some eyebrows since tonight is the first hearing for the January 6th committee investigating the Capitol attack. Michigan will likely have a leading role in tonight's primetime hearing. Grant Herm's working on this for us today. And Grant, there's a lot of Michigan ground to cover here. There really is, and we are talking more than 17 months of it right now, and Michigan has consistently been at the center of all of this, whether it was a mob at the former TCF Center on election night to false claims of voter fraud, fake slates of electors, and Capitol rioters. All of that pointing to the fact that Michigan will likely take center stage tonight at these hearings. The first hearing is expected to focus on the day of the attack, where so far, 15 Michiganders have been arrested and charged. Six have pleaded guilty to crimes surrounding that day. Prominent Michiganders may come under scrutiny like State Representative Matt Manick and his wife, Michigan Republican Party co-chair Mishon Manick. The pair helped charter more than a dozen buses to the Stop the Steal rally. Matt Manick was also among the 16 false electors who attempted to submit forged election documents, giving the election to former President Trump. Also potentially GOP candidate for governor Ryan Kelly, who was arrested and charged just hours before the hearings. The committee also subpoenaed five Michigan Republicans, including the state's national chair and former state party chair, Laura Cox. We also expect to hear from Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson, who testified over video to the committee. She talked to Local 4 about her testimony by phone this afternoon. What became clear, even more clear to me as I spoke with the committee, was just how much a lot of what we experienced throughout 2020 in Michigan laid the groundwork for the tragedy at our Capitol on January 6th. Now, one other prominent Michigander that we could see in these hearings is Congresswoman Lisa McLean. She was among those members of Congress who didn't certify every state's slate of electors. She was also seen with would-be attackers in her office in pictures on January 5th. The January 6th committee did not respond to my questions about whether McLean was under investigation for giving what had been so-called reconnaissance tours the day before the January 6th attack on the Capitol. For her part, McLean saying on Twitter that these hearings from the January January 6th committee are a media sham. In downtown Detroit, Grant Herms, Local 4. Yeah, but people will be watching, and uh, you know we will be as well. All right, Grant. Uh, the nine person January 6th committee is made up of seven Democrats, two Republicans, and it'll make its case for 90 minutes during prime time tonight. You can watch that right here on Local 4 and Local 4 Plus. Our special coverage starts at 8. It's anchored by Lester Holt, and we will be uh, also bringing it to you on clickondetroit.com. If you miss any of it, we'll recap it uh, on Local 4 News at 11.